Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> you can sleep here. And I love the colors of the boats. This is where I have gone kayaking out of. Part 20 of my ride, lure rallies, camping, and mountain passes. Part 2 of my first day in Grand Teton National Park. We had some food. I feel much better. I was pretty hungry. And used the internet and attempted to download my maps. So I have screenshots of them. I do have screenshots, and I do have screenshots of the notes of where I want to stop as well. Ah, so pretty. Okay, look for animals. <laughs> I'm almost in my campground. Um, I think check-in wasn't until four, and it's around four now, it's after four. So perfect timing. I am going to put up my tent and then probably head to the beach. There's a beach here, and I think I can see, well, sunset over the mountains. Aha, there's a gas station there. In case I need it tomorrow, convenience store, gas station, good. That's good to know. And I know they have coffee in the morning too. Because I got coffee there before. So awesome. It's hot, but when I open my visor, the it's windy. And the wind gets right in my eyes. So I keep opening and closing my visor. And I do have the built-in sunglasses in this helmet, so I do have those down. Be bear aware. Food storage, yep, awesome. And I have my bear spray. There is a campground here. It's more wilderness, and that's one I actually wanted. But it was booked, which surprises me. I expected this one to be booked before that one. Please stay in vehicle. Ah, I think I can do that. Hello. Hello. 59C. 59. Go right there at the bottom of the hill where that vehicle is dumping. Uh huh. Take a left right there. See, you'll be a loop on your right. Find 59 in your home. You just overnight or you stay in a while? One night. One night. There's a slip on the post. When you check out tomorrow, put it in the box here and give it to us. Okay. Right. And so next time I come, I can just go in that lane? Yep. Okay. We're, we're closing this up, so. Okay. Thank you. All right. No generators, that's awesome. Alrighty, 51. Oh, a little well. 52. Look at that. I'm assuming that's my bear box. Bay Campground, which is in the Grand Tetons. Look at my awesome spot. It's like totally private. I don't know why this campground is, oh, not always full. Kind of, I think, a little secret because it's right next to Yellowstone, which people are fighting for campgrounds for. And uh, whenever I've come here, I've always got a spot. I did reserve this one this time, but yeah, so far I haven't had a problem and it's been a really nice spot right on the Grand Tetons. I'm going to go down to the water and check out the view and watch sunset. 
<laughs> I'm gonna find some water, refill my water first. Yeah, my little spot, it's completely private, it's awesome. Well, I had a late and a big lunch, so I'm having a small dinner, which is perfect. And something I didn't notice before why this place looks so homey. All the branches, or the little baby trees, are coming in on both sides to give me like a little bit of a cover, make it more like a home. Got my camp set up, stuff in a bear box, <clears throat> tent up. Now, let's go check out what's here. I know there's a beach with an awesome view of the mountains. I'm gonna go find that. I hit my big puddle. Man, dudes, we have some road issues. There's the mountains. Oops, that's what I came to see. If I can make it to the parking lot. So here's the general store. Not the visitor center. I think down at the end of this is the beach, this one. Not that I'm going to swim now, but I want to sit on the beach and watch the sunset. Probably a bit of time. Okay, side of the road, dude. Okay. There's the beach. That is parking, right? Yes. I'm at the beach at Kofi Bay. And I'm thinking, man, this is awesome. <laughs> we can sleep here. I know it's going to get cold later, but it's really nice now. So it's really nice to see. We stay for a bit and watch the sunset. here years ago I hiked with some other people through here there is a path somewhere that's probably it to the beach it was like a scenic path kind of along the edge of the water and the beach um, kind of a long way but pretty anyway we saw a bear so black bear was happily eating just glanced up at us like, okay, whatever, and kept eating. <laughs> so we turned around and left. <laughs> not wanting to disturb a bear eating his lunch, probably not a good idea. Okay, this is the little marina thing down here. Look, it's pretty. Okay. When we did see the bear, just over there in the woods, uh, we did go and tell the office. But that it was here, and uh, I think they went to scare it away and stop other families from walking in there. In the meantime, So this is where we went kayaking out of. Got the kayaks out of here, out, and they gave us a little waterproof map, which was excellent. <laughs> and we rode around the islands over there. We even did a little portage. Coulter Bay Marina. Watching the sunset now at Coulter Bay Marina. I came from the beach to the marina. And as you can see, this is also beautiful. 
So it looks like we're not going to get the bright colors today of the sunset, but um, still beautiful. <laughs> beautiful in the water and beautiful with the mountains in the background. And I love the colors of the boats. So this is where I have gone kayaking out of. And go around the islands. Where are we? Out there. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Hit like, subscribe, share, and hit any comments below. Hit the notifications bell and you'll be notified for my next video as I continue to explore the Grand Tetons. Check out my social media to follow my moto adventures. Links in the description below. Okay.